I'm here with a different video and in today's video I have a Lenovo laptop this one is a Lenovo Yoga 500 and this model comes with an iCore 3 processor and a 4 gig RAM I made a video on how to upgrade your SSD drive to make it faster and another video how to remove the RAM and upgrade your RAM you can check those videos in my channel if you like and in this video i'm going to show you guys how to open it up and how to do your own service how to repaste in case you're having an overheating problem and this video will be just fine for you guys all right let's keep this video short and get into the service first thing first you want to flip over your laptop and put the bottom cover facing up and by the way the model exact model is a yoga 500-14 that's the exact model and there's a model name that says ADN4 all right first thing first you need to grab yourself an opening tools I use these tools all the time around the shop it's the iFixit tool set and they have a really good set of tool set and they all the bits that you need for any laptop and even iPhones or any other cell phones that you're trying to open all right we're going to be using Philips number zero from this set now what we want to do we want to remove all the screws at the bottom cover there should be around 10 of them in here so go ahead and remove all the screws they all should be around the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them okay now that we removed all the screws from here what you need to do grab yourself an opening tool i use the guitar pick this is really handy for opening the cell phones or laptops is as soft edges it has it also it's really hard to scratch the laptop so we're going to grab the opening tool that you have and you want to stick it between the top and the bottom cover just about two millimeters or one or two and then you want to just twist it around you're going to hear some clicking and that's all you want to hear those snap points right there so go all around it make sure you hear those clicks as you lift it up don't panic that's what you want to hear do the other side once you do the front and the side do the same thing at the back corner where the hinges are just like this one here and then lift it up do where the air intake is and do the other corner once you remove uh, loosen up all this four side you want to lift it up and you want to wiggle it around and peel it off sometimes yours won't come out from this side because of the sponge right here it actually gets glued to the hard drive because of the overtime usage and the heat so when you lift up you have to yank it up to separate this foam from the hard drive all right first thing first you want to remove and clean up the bottom cover with an old toothbrush you want to clean up all this blocked air vents right here so go ahead and take it outside and clean up the whole air intake from here all right next down here we can see how dirty is the fan and is right you want to peel off this black tape right here so just peel it off this is protection from the ram by not touching the bottom cover put that to one side uh, first thing first we want to remove the battery connector from here by pulling this jack towards the battery just grab this cable you want to grab set of the cables you don't want to grab the whole cable here and then you want to peel it pull it backward towards the battery now you have the battery disconnected we're going to go ahead and remove the uh, heatsink by removing four three screws on the X clamp right here so remove the screws right here the screws have a C lock on them so it will not come out so you just have to loosen them up okay once you got it out you can lift it up and you want to untangle all the cables that you have it in this side so the Wi-Fi cable the webcam cable and the flex cable just untangle them all around it okay now what you want to do you want to disconnect the fan cable from the jack 
I don't pull the cable on this one. I rather use a tweezers to pull it out just like that. Push it toward the back. Okay, use the tweezers. Just wiggle it around. Uh, is move it around it will come out all right now we got this in this position what we need to do is to take it outside and use an air can or compressed air and uh, use an old toothbrush and clean out the whole fan here and i'll be back just right after this all right now that we are back now we're gonna grab a working towel and we're gonna grab an alcohol this is an isopropolic alcohol or whatever you want to call it I'll leave the link in the description. This will not damage the electronics. You want to use this one to clean up the old thermal paste on the CPU. So it, it really comes off pretty easy with this alcohol. So pretty much go ahead and clean up the CPU die. And also clean up the fan thermal paste that you applied. Put on the old thermal paste. Go ahead and remo remove the old thermal paste. All right, now that we got the fan clean up really clean, look at this, it's very clean. What we need to do, grab your new thermal paste. I use an MX Fork Arctic. You wanna put a tiny damp on the one of the die, one drop right there, and do a tiny line on the other crystal right there. Don't worry if you put too much, it's not conductive and it's not gonna harm the CPU. As you saw the main stock one, it was very really overdone so first thing first we don't want to put this cpu heatsink down first we want to uh, run the cable for this wi-fi cables and uh, everything that we untangled here so go ahead and put back down all the cables that we untangled here it's just pretty much doing a zigzag run so do a zigzag here okay now once you've done this one you want to bring it down slowly right over once you put it down you do not lift it up again and screw cross stitch them do that one and then do this one and then last one over here also they have a number on them one two three doesn't matter in which direction you go there are three screws so it's a triangle doesn't matter where you start as long as you don't lift up once you put it down all right and the most important one is to slide down the fan connector the way that you removed it the same way it slides in and push it all the way toward the jack okay make sure it stays all the way in okay and we are set there make sure the wi-fi cable is in there once we have everything in there put the isolation for the ram it goes just like this and one of the last thing is to make sure there is no cable sticking out all the cables is nicely in place grab your battery connector and slide it back in evenly and make sure the cable for the battery is not on the way so just tuck it down there somewhere and then you should be set also you can grab your toothbrush and go ahead and clean up the hinges and the other corners and Depends how you want to clean up your laptop. Pretty much. All right, now that we got the fan plugged in, the heatsink repaste, and the cables running the, so the way it's supposed to be, we're gonna grab the bottom cover, place it straight on top, and we're gonna squeeze the corners, the sides, and the front end of the laptop. You're gonna hear a few clicks. That's what you want to hear. Okay. Once you did that, and the last thing would be grabbing the bottom screws and start screwing the bottom cover. And I really hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. And if it did, click that thumbs up button, I really appreciate it. And if you guys subscribe, that will be an extra bonus for me. And I'll try to take requests and answer your comments. Alright. And again, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.